Good morning, Don Lane. Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this Saturday, December 17th. Keeping an eye on the skies. So, uh, the potential of anything happening with the weather. Uh, we are looking at anywhere up to 15 to 20 centimeters of snow. It could be down as low as 5 to 10 centimeters, depending on elevation, depending on how this Arctic front is coming in, depending on the moisture in the air. So the bottom line is that everybody's road crews in the, the, the valley and the lower mainland are ready for this. Uh, are you? Make sure that you know how to drive in this stuff and you got your snow tires on. And we learned our lesson after this first blast, which wasn't that long ago. However, we are still looking at the po potential of a lot of this melting by Christmas Day. We'll just see how this thing works out. Uh... The Chilliwack Community Services Executive Director Diane Jansen is going to be leaving her post at the end of January to work for Squaw First Nations as their CEO. Uh, big announcement that was made uh, last night on social media. Now everybody seems to know about it. So we'll keep you an eye, an eye on that. The off-road toy run is still scheduled for Chilliwack for tomorrow. The one in Abbotsford last week was canceled because of permit issues. Speaking of Chilliwack, there is a, a kid's Christmas Carol tour uh, that is supposed to start at 11 o'clock uh, this morning for about an hour in downtown Chilliwack. Uh, right now, it's still a go uh, because the snow has not fallen. Uh, the other thing, too, is that there is always a risk of freezing rain in amongst of all of this mess. So we're going to keep an eye on that. If there's something we should know about, let us know. F-E-N at Shaw.ca. F-E-N at Shaw.ca. Oh, by the way, next August, we've already found out the dates for the Hope Chainsaw competition. So to Katie Freakon of uh, Dark Time News and to Brian McKinney and to Victor Smith, we'll be there. What's the old Bob and Doug McKenzie line? Next year, get me a chainsaw for Christmas. Had to go there. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.